now only on CBS News Miami. For more than two weeks, getting supplies in and out of Haiti has been impossible. The continued unrest between gangs and police has paralyzed the country. But today, a mission flight to Cap Haitian delivered thousands of pounds of much needed items. And CBS News Miami's Tanya Francois was the only journalist on that flight. She joins us now in the studio to share more about her trip. First of all, welcome back, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you very much. Elliot Lauren, our flight with Mission Flight International took off from the Treasure Coast at 6.30 this morning on board myself, along with three missionaries. They were headed back to Haiti, their home, to deliver the essentials needed to help the hundreds of people who they serve. What are some of the things that people need the most? That's have women noodles, and there's a, a peanut butter, things that they can quickly eat. Relief finally heading in. This World War II DC-3 Turbo is filled with the food, formula, and furniture. Basic necessities people have been lacking for weeks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna be going to churches and also the communities that people, that partners that we're working from the community, that's what I'm gonna distribute. The flight crew says this is the first plane from the United States to bring in cargo. Their plans back in back February were canceled after gangs took over the capital city of Port-au-Prince and violence broke out shutting airports. The unrest making life very difficult. This affect every everyone living in Haiti. Okay, I mean, even if you are not living in Haiti, it would affect you. Um, so where where we live, like it affected us because like it's like when we want to go shopping to get like I mean to bring things home, it's a, it's not easy. Our first stop was to Cap Haitians Airport, normally the country's second busiest airport. Some of the boxes were removed and separated right in baggage claim. Then it was off to Pignon, a 15-minute flight to the south. The supplies are being offloaded. Some of the things that are in these uh, bags, a lot of ramen noodles. He says it's also peanut butter. The more immediate need here on the island is food because the roads are blocked. And so trying to get to the grocery store, trying to get to different parts of the island to harvest and get food has become very, very difficult with the unrest. So he decided to, the pastor who was on the flight with us, decided that when he landed, he would uh, try to see if he could get some food to come with him. And here these supplies are being offloaded and they'll be given to uh, the people here in the community. He says he will serve about 100 people. With the cargo gone, it was time to board the group heading back to the United States. Fifteen missionaries, four of them with Haiti passports. So why are you leaving? Okay, my baby boy has an appointment with his pediatrician. I came to see my family, um, my mom, my friends, some orphans we have at an orphanage center. And when I had to return, like I had some American friends, came, I mean, who came with me. So due to the problem, the situation of the country, so I could not go back together with them. Despite the ongoing unrest, the passengers I spoke to all say they will soon return because Haiti is home. My goal, like, as I am Haitian, I am glad for the opportunity that I have to study in the U.S., but my goal is to come back and serve my country in spite of all the problem we are having. Now, the cargo company also has aid meant for Port-au-Prince, but it is still in Fort Pierce, some of it in coolers, because that airport is still closed to them due to the nonstop unrest still going on on, the, on that part of the island. Tanya, just great reporting. It's, you. you know, heartwarming to see that help getting to Pignon and to Cap Haitian, but you mentioned Port-au-Prince, the situation at the airport there. How are those people in the city getting by right now? So a uh, gentleman I spoke to, actually a Pembroke Pines man I spoke to yesterday, says he's getting by on carrots and tomatoes and a lot of people reports we're getting um, it's a huge humanitarian effort that's gonna that's gonna start there they're surviving off of one meal a day great job as a journalist as a Haitian American what feelings were going through your mind Wow, um, that's difficult. As a Haitian American, my dad, because he's still there. Oh and boy. today, when I finally spoke to him, he says he's ready to come back. Wow. Finally, after being so staunch about um, wanting to stay today, he says um, if a, a State Department flight came for him in Port-au-Prince, he'd get on it. Is Let's that something that case. could be in the works? or? How long would that take? It all depends on, you know, the, the violence that's happening at the airport there. All commercial flights right. are still closed, mm -hmm. and so it, it depends. This flight took off today because the State Department, the, the people who they communicate with, mission flights, says it's okay to land. It is not okay still to land in Port-au-Prince, because usually they go to Port-au-Prince, and they couldn't today. Mm. Well, our thoughts are with your dad. Great job. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank you.